guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. For today, I'm back with another haul video. I've partnered up with Oakenfort to show you guys some of the pieces from their spring collection. This is a pretty holistic video. I have a couple of things ranging from clothing, bags, and also some of their pieces from their home stuff. One of the things that I learned about Oakenfort is that they don't necessarily replenish their items, so they don't continuously make the same items and same styles over and over again, which means that everything that you see here is in stock, I guess, up until everything sells out. They have a more first come first serve type of policy. I feel like in the past I've posted the video like a month after I received the products and then a lot of it becomes sold out online but this time I made sure to make my video as soon as I can so I got it a few days ago. So hopefully by the time you guys see this video everything will still be in stock. But anyway just wanted to share that with you guys so if you guys are looking for past Oakenfort items that I have or other people have you might not necessarily be able to find it online unless if they got it in the recent past. Anyway, without further ado, I'm just gonna get this video started. So the first category of things I wanna go through is clothing, and then I'm gonna move on talking about their home things. Starting with the first item, it is this t-shirt here, and I absolutely love it because I feel like it's my classic white t-shirt with a little bit of a twist, which is in the sleeves. I love that the sleeves are a little bit puffier up here. Fun fact, well, not fun fact, but um, just kind of like a little bit about myself. I like to choose sleeves that are a little bit puffier up here just because personally, I'm a little bit self-conscious about how big my arms look. I know you might not think so. It's just a personal preference thing. That's just something I'm very self-conscious about. In order to dress to make me feel more confident, I tend to pick sleeves that are a little bit puffier. In my eyes, that compensates the look of my arms <laughs> relative to the rest of my body. But anyway, that's just like a little trick that I have whenever I'm trying to dress myself because that's just one thing that I do that makes me feel more confident. So anyway, this t-shirt I absolutely love. It is in a off-white color and besides the sleeves, I also really like the cut of it at the bottom. It's not too long so I feel like it's really good to go with high-waisted jeans. It has this really casual look and you're able to dress it up or down. So for this item, I stuck true to size and I got it in a size small. The next two items that I got are skirts. The first item that I got is this denim-ish material blush skirt and this skirt unfortunately I actually do not fit into this skirt part of the reason is because usually when I partner with Oakenfort I try the items in person and I pick up the items in person as well so usually everything that I pick up works on my body and by the time I show it to you guys it's not my first time wearing it but unfortunately because with everything that is going on with COVID-19 and us not being able to leave this was shipped to my house and I stuck true to size which is a size small but unfortunately it is a a little bit small on my waist. Another note that I wanted to point out is if you guys are not new to my videos, you might know that my waist is also highly disproportionate to my body. It is like a few sizes larger than the rest of my body. I also have a true sculpt video that you guys can take a look at for me attempting to reduce my waist size. It actually has gone down a lot, but I have gained a little bit of weight ever since this whole quarantine situation. So anyway, I am hoping that I will fit this in I don't know, when I start going out again, I guess. But anyway, I do still wanna show you guys how cute it looks. Obviously, I'm not gonna try it on. I am just gonna unsell you this skirt. I will show it to you here. So this is what it looks like, and it has these two really cute pockets in the back. So like I said, if you have a relatively small or normal size waist to the rest of your body, you can stick true to size, unless if you're like me and all your fat goes towards your waist, then maybe you might think about going up a size. So the next skirt that I got, thankfully, fits me but that's also because the skirt has a elastic band. This one is also in kind of like an off-white cream color and I absolutely love this skirt. If you guys watched my last Oakenfort haul, I absolutely loved that floral skirt that I got. But this time I picked an all-white one for the springtime. What I also like about this skirt is that up until this point, it's not see-through at all. There's an extra layer of fabric down here, but from this point onwards, it is a little bit see-through, but it gives off this high-low skirt and I feel like it's just one of the unique aspects of the skirt so it looks a little bit more summery because even though it's long it doesn't look that long since the longer part is a little bit more see-through. What I also love about this skirt is that it's just super easy to pair with anything like I paired it with this t-shirt I have paired it with some of the other items that I already have in my closet so I just really like buying staple pieces that you're able to mix and match with things you already have so if you are looking for a spring skirt I highly recommend checking this one out. The last thing I want to mention is that for this skirt I did stick true to size and I got a size small. This one was able to fit my waist and the rest of my 
my body perfectly fine. So if you guys are interested, just stick true to size. The last clothing item that I got is this blush dress right here. And this one, I also stuck true to size in a size small. I was able to fit this one fine as well because it has this tying component. So you're able to like adjust this to your body as you wish. But this dress is one of those dresses that is just so perfect for bridal showers, wedding season, if we have a chance to go to a wedding this summer. To God. But anyway, this one is one of those dresses that is just completely perfect for occasions like that. Another thing that I like about this dress is the sleeve. We literally just talked about this, but this sleeve also poofs up a little bit here. So it does give the illusion of skinnier arms, which I love. The one thing that I do have to say about this dress though, is that it is a little bit see-through. So if you are planning to buy this dress, you need to make sure that you have see, um, oh my God, I almost said see-through underwear. Um, you need to make Make sure you have nude underwear as well as a nude bra if you guys do not have nude underwear it is one of those things that you need to invest in your closet i literally have i think like 10 pairs of nude underwear because i wear a lot of white pants for nude underwear i generally get mine from lazenza so if you guys are looking for that that's where you can go find some nude underwear so this is pretty much the dress and it's super cute and if we can go to a wedding this summer you have to check out this dress so the last item that i got kind of in this category is is this bag right here. I wanted to get this bag for a couple of reasons. So the first reason is because I have already, as you can see from my last Oakenfort haul, a bag from Oakenfort and the quality was super good. So I knew I could trust in their bags and they're super durable. So I wanted to invest in another one. And the second reason is because the bag that I got last time fit a lot, like it fit my laptop, it fit like a lot of things. I only have purses that fit very little, like my wallet keys. Then I have the larger bags to fit my laptop and everything else. So this one is just that in-between size. It definitely won't hold my laptop unless if you have one of those super, super mini laptops, which I definitely don't have. But I feel like this is perfect for me to go out if I can ever go out again. I'm just kidding. This one is perfect for those occasions if I don't need to bring as much as like a laptop, but I wanna bring my water bottle, for example, then I can use something like this. Also, what I love about it is that there's the two pockets on the side. So I'm able to stuff, I don't know, like gum or like, <laughs> my keys or something. These are just the easier to grab components that I really like. And also the color is super flattering and really great for the spring and summer. So now moving on to the home portion. If you follow me on Instagram, I have actually already showed all of these items on my stories. If you follow me on Instagram, you're probably like, okay, bye at this point. But if you do not follow me on Instagram, first of all, why? I'm just kidding. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, just keep watching because I got a few really great things from Oakenfort from their home collection. Starting with their kitchen stuff, the first thing that I got is this plate right here. And what I love about it is just, it is so minimal and it is literally the prettiest plate I own, like, hi. And I also have it in the smaller size. So this one is more like a dinner plate and this one is for dessert, I guess. Whenever I use this plate, I just feel so fancy. I feel like whatever I'm cooking, I just need to dress it up a little bit. So if you have been following me on Instagram, you'll see me attempting to plate my food, but really I'm like very bad at it. The only thing that's making it look good is the plate itself. What I love about their kitchen items is that it is completely dish washable. I have actually stopped washing my dishes. I always use the dishwasher. So it was really nice. All their kitchen things are dish washable. The next thing besides the two plates that I got, I also got a set of mugs and this is what the mug looks like. And it's also the exact same color as the plate. So it matches up very perfectly. But this mug is so cute. Once again, dish washable. And it is just so minimal minimal and just perfect for coffee and just all of that stuff. I highly suggest you guys checking this one out as well. So moving out of the kitchen stuff, I have a few decor pieces here for you. Once again, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen pictures of these items, but this is more for the YouTube guys. The first thing that I got is this diffuser right here and it is just so minimal, so cute, and it smells amazing. I feel like after this diffuser runs out, I'm just gonna continue using it anyway and just like even leaving it as a decor piece or I'll try to find other scents, but it smells really good. I'll leave a picture here of what I posted on Instagram, but yeah. 
this is what it looks like. So the next item here that I got is this see-through jar here. And once again, super minimal and super cute. I have put a couple of these dried pampas into the jar. A lot of you on Instagram have asked me where I buy my dried pampas. And honestly, you can either buy them on Etsy. If you guys don't know what that is. It's basically an online shop for people who like are starting their own businesses. And it's usually their own like handmade crafts and stuff. So you can buy it on Etsy or what you can do and what I did was I just went to my local flower shop and they were able to order some pampas for me. What I liked about ordering the pampas from the flower shop as opposed to doing it online was that they told me that I could show up in person to pick them up and if I don't like the look of them or the size of them they were just gonna leave it out on the floor and sell them through there. It was kind of nice because I got to see it in person and if I didn't like it they gave me the option of just leaving it and letting them sell it on the floor for other customers. So so I would recommend going to your flower shop as opposed to doing it online. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It is super gorgeous and just such a nice decor piece. So the last item that I have from Oaken Fort is another vase and it is this one right here. It's just this really pretty pink, once again, see-through vase. For the flowers here, I actually used some flowers that Lucas got me and I just like pulled it out and put it in here and now the flowers have dried and I feel like it looks really cute like this this is what it looks like. I didn't do this intentionally, but I guess my theme in this house has now turned into white, pink, and gold, but I'm just like a huge sucker for pink things. So I think that's why naturally this is the theme of my home. Anyway, that was pretty much the haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Hope you guys are staying safe and also staying indoors. If you guys have any other questions about Oaken4 products, make sure you leave a comment down below and I will respond to them. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!